yeah hi uh, today we are going to see what is molecular clock so it is a change uh, in a rhythmic fashion over a period of certain uh, time so it change evolutionary changes occur in a clock like fashion for an example of, um, in in case of hemoglobin the gene cat codes for the protein alpha globulin experiences base changes at a rate of 0.56 changes per base per billion years if the rate is real reliable the gene could be uh, used as a molecular clock so it was first discovered by the clearance polling and the biologist emil rickel kendall so uh, molecular clock uh, came in hand when fossils record fields short that help estimate important times in evolutionary events such as the diversion of species or dating back species without a fossil record so basically molecular clock is a change in the dna rna or protein sequences in a certain period of time or in a constant rate of change in an organism genome so by measuring these changes scientists can create uh, phylogenetic tree representing a species that evolved or diverged from a, another long ago or phylogenetic tree is also known as the dendrogram as we have uh, seen earlier in this previous videos so each gene acts as a separate clock and each clock ticks at a different rate thousands of gene and protein within each organism evolve at a different rate for an example um, uh, such as c and d c d are the uh, related uh, dna se uh, specific sequence in a dna so find that the 2000 mutation are different between them by knowing the mutation rate thousand new mutation every 1 million years so mutation per year is equal to 0.01 one can divide the number of mutation by mutation rate to determine the time frame that is 2 million years old so as a conclusion we can say that the cad uh, diverged from a common ancestor about 2 million years ago so it's an another another example here uh, it is a sequence uh, c a t t t a t c g so before 15 million years uh, two base pair changes and after 25 million years there is a change of c g and t t and today this change to the lineage now differ by four bases so here is a conclusion the general technique has been used to investigate several important issues including origin of modern humans the data of human or chimpanzee divergence and the date of the cambrian explosion keep watching